Hey friends, Andrea here. Um, today's video is just going to be quick. Um, making, I'm going to make 10 cards today. Probably 10 cards. Maybe I'll keep going, but I know I'm going to make a minimum of 10 cards as part of my 1,000 cards challenge. So I'm going to um, just, um, probably I'll speed up the video so you can see what I'm doing um, in fast motion rather than like walking through all my steps and everything. But um, before I speed up, I'm just going to go through my pile of card bases and stuff that's already ready to go. And just, um, I want to find some that are sort of like ready to assemble and I can just like put them together, um, with the sentiments and everything here. So, um, here's a stack of cards that has like, this one has a birthday. I, I don't know if I like that birthday one with it. But anyways, this one says thanks. I made a few thanks, thank you cards with this pattern paper before, so I think I, that's cute. I'll create that. I'll do this. I think I'll make this into a banner like I usually do. Um, this is the same, so maybe I'll make a duplicate of that. Kind of do a batch. Here's another thanks. This one's glued down already, so I must have started. Oh, it just needs the banner, so that would be... I'll make it easier on me, and... Um, just like a random one here. Um, I have this welcome baby and it has sort of like blue, um, kind of looks like waves or water or something like that. And maybe I can find like a sticker set. Actually, I think I have, I set aside a sticker set that would go with it. This by the sea sticker set. So my last attempt to make something with stickers didn't really go very well, so I'm going to try again and see if I can make something cute with these. And I have, um, I have a couple that are like that, that are that similar paper. So maybe I'll just try to, I don't know, there's a make a wish. Maybe I can do a welcome baby and a make a wish. I don't know. Um, so that's right there already, a couple, um, it's already several. Here's a birthday, it's a duplicate birthday, um, let's see, here's a thank you, that one's pretty much ready to go, it just needs to be glued on, assembled, um, but I think it would look nice if this was like matted on something else behind it and I don't know I have I do have a little piece of blue here that I could maybe make work but you know so I'll see that see if I can do something with that and then I have another one here similar uh, it's a, the exact same paper but um, just cut differently so that one uh, here's another thank you here's another thank you <laughs> actually I have like a bunch of thank yous like this. Um, I have a get well. Um, I do want to make several just generic non-sentiment cards that are more like of a hello style, like hi, um, type of card because I have a friend that I, that is, um, quarantining at home with COVID and I wanted to send some cards to her um, so that she can mail them out to her friends. So I will, um, I might have to make that in another video because I don't, I'm, I don't think I have anything like prepared or ready to go for that purpose that is just like not already designed with something on it. So anyways, right here I have like already, this is like going to be 20 cards. So um, maybe I'll just go ahead and do them all because they're all pretty straightforward. This is cute. Wishing you a magical day. I love that. Maybe I can put some pink, some washi tape or something on it. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just go for trying to get all these as many. Maybe I'll just see how many I can get done in like an hour or so. Maybe that's a better challenge. How many can I get done in an hour? Because well, almost all of these are pre-cuts and like just ready to assemble and glue down and then um, I'll just maybe I'll need to make another video for like the decoration of the card 
this just is going to need something to make that pop. This is what's cute. There's another one. Um, these are all kind of ready to go, so I don't know. Could be fun. Could be something. Hmm. Um, there's something. That's cute. I could make something with that. Um, I have a couple more of these that I made in one of my other videos. Like, they're all the same, so maybe I'll just copy that same, you know, design. Except on that one, I put it, um, kind of up at the top and I had, like, a washi tape strip. But I could do it in the center and have the washi going this way. I can do a lot of different things. I have a couple more of, um this one that I did before. I just need to be assembled. So maybe I'll put together some of those. I mean, I'm trying to just specifically pick out the ones that already have, um, basically already have, uh, some kind of a sentiment attached to them or, or kind of set aside for them because I at some point when I made these I had an idea in mind of what I wanted to send Ooh, that would be pretty I might be able to find a way to make that work I want to make this one and leave it without the sentiment on it and there's a couple of them so I will put these on oops I think that there's an extra no nope, okay maybe I'm just missing a piece of paper here with that card so there's several of those. Those are nice. The rest of these don't have sentiments with them. There's nothing there. Oh wait, actually this one says congratulations. So maybe I'll put that in the, in the stack. This one's uh, with sincere sympathy, so maybe I'll keep that. I don't think I have anything with this. Um, this is like a birthday one, so maybe we'll keep that one. No, nothing with that. I have a couple of these that are set aside. Welcome to the world, little one. But they don't have... Maybe I'll put this happy birthday card together. Um, I don't know. That, that could be cute somehow. Just need something to make that sentiment pop out. Um, birthday wishes or happy birthday. That's cute. This one doesn't have anything, and I don't think it's going to be very cute with the, this Welcome to the World little one. It's just kind of seen as like more of a thank you. So I'll put that one aside. This doesn't have doesn't have anything. Um, that's cute. And I have a bunch that just don't have any sentiments with them. So, um, hmm. I don't think there's anything else that this really goes with, so I'm going to set this aside. Alright, so I've got a big stack here already, and then, um, oh no, there's a bunch up here, I'll just move these aside, there's a bunch up here that I don't have sentiments to go with, but I could, um, I could just glue down, I guess, um, kind of like those other ones that are in that other stack. So maybe I'll just try to do that. These might be fun to send to my friend who's at home and just leave them kind of blank or put like, I have some sentiments that I wanted to stamp with that I haven't had really a chance to use yet. And that might be fun to kind of play with. These, this is such beautiful paper. Oh, so cute. So that might be, um... When I exhaust this pile, maybe I'll just start working on this pile and see where I get. I have quite a few here. They're not really, they don't have like sentiments to go with them. So um, I'll put those aside for my, like my backup pile. And then I have another pile here, just more. And none of these have any kind of sentiments together with them. So, um, they all feel, uh, all these ones feel really festive, like birthday style, or like this would be a cute little 
some kind of a birthday. It's got like a party theme because it's so bright and colorful. Maybe a congratulations or celebration. This would be a cute little, like a get well card or just a hello. These are all a bunch of these. It's a bunch of those. Tons of those. Um, so I would need to stamp something to go with these. I don't have them kind of prepared. So anyways, I can assemble those. All these ones I can at least... Um, just like glue down the back. Oh look, here's one that says thank you. The stamping on this isn't the hottest. I mean, this stamp must be just kind of not doing so good, but but eh, it's worth assembling, I guess. Okay, so I'll just kind of hold on to these for like assembling and then maybe I'll just stamp something to go with them after. So this is how, I don't think this camera is going to show how thick this is, but there's a bunch here in the stack. So I'm going to move these aside for my, my backup stack, and then I'm going to pull from all of these to do my card video, and I'm just going to speed it up. So I'm going to pause this, and then I'm going to come back with my sped up card making video and I probably won't be like talking as I make it or um, I'll try to put like some music or something like that so you guys can enjoy my tunes but um when I get to the point the stopping point where I have hit my one hour mark um because I'm going to set a timer when I get to my one hour mark if I decide to keep going then I will um I'll stop making cards that have sentiments and I will just start working on cards that have, um, that just need assembly. And then, um, if I feel like I've hit my quota on those, then maybe I'll start working on, um, stamping and I'll, you'll get to see that, but maybe that'll just be another video. So we'll see. I just have some time this afternoon to work on some stuff and my boyfriend is out running. So this is a good time to film when he's kind of not here to make a lot of noise. <laughs> he seems to make a lot of noise when he's home because he's either watching TV or he's like listening to music or he's listening to a book with through his speakers and stuff or he's talking to the cat in the background or something like that. So I have some quiet time right now to just work on some stuff without some without interruption. <laughs> so enjoy the video and I love to see in your comments um, what which one you like the most or if there's a certain pattern that you think um, is cute or something like that. Um, or just in general, what recommendations you might have for assembling it differently. That's cool too. I like to get other ideas, but most of this is going to be pretty simple card making and, um, assembly and just kind of getting through the existing stash. And hopefully, um, I'll be able to start working on like new cards that are not part of my existing already pre-cut kind of stash. I still have quite a few, probably looking at close to 500 or so cards that I need to get through um, before I can start making stuff with things that aren't already cut out. Anyway, have fun watching this and um, I look forward to seeing what you say in the comments. Bye!
right, I finished 10 cards, so here's one. I um, got the other ones. Um, two, three. This feels like it needs something. I need a, something over here needs to happen because it seems too boring to me. And I'm I trying to use the washi tape, but whatever. I'll, I'll figure something else out. I have a, I have an idea of like getting a paper flower and putting it here, or something like that. But anyway, um, so that's three, four. I like this. It's nice and simple. Um, five, six. Um, you can tell like once I got the washi tape, I was like, yeah, washi tape is the way to go. <laughs> so I was like, hey, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I have seven, eight, nine. Oh, wait, did I count wrong? Maybe I did. Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, I did count wrong. Okay, well, I'm going to make this last one on camera then instead of sped up. I made a counting error. But um, I already hit my one hour mark. Um, so I'm um, past my 10 cards in one hour mark that I set for myself. Um, this, this is dry, I guess. So let me see. What should I pick from? Because I know I have a, this whole stack of stuff that I wanted to kind of like go through. And actually this one right here is already ready to go. Oh, and so is this. So, I can just go do the exact same thing that I did with those. So, I'm going to just do the exact same kind of design with this one. And I'll just do it on camera for you guys. So, um, hmm. kind of want to just cut it out and then keep it rectangular to keep it simple. So, I'm going to use this little trimmer guy to... Kind of rectangular. I don't think this other side is straight, but um, I can live with that. <laughs> this other piece I'll set aside. Um, so now I'm gonna glue the. No, move this out of the way. I'm gonna glue the paper onto the back. There it is. Just kind of. I've created a bunch of mess here that I need to clean up. And I always try to make sure, like, I know which way the papers or the card is, so that when I put my sentiment on, I'm not putting it on like upside down or something, because that is the worst. Okay, so that's pretty centered. And then on my other one that was similar to this, I did a silver washi tape. Did I put that one away? I might have put it away. I think I might have put it back, or else it's hiding somewhere on my desk that I can't see it. I did pull out a lot of things, so <laughs> I'm going to put the, some things back here. Oh, it's right here. I'm like staring at it. So, I, on the other one, I think I did, um, let's see, yeah, I put it up here, so I think on this one I'm going to do it more like, hmm, maybe it down here. So, when I was doing the other one, I was trying to get it in frame, but I, I put my, um, card in alignment on the corner. Of these like grids um, and then I find the end of my washi tape and then I just try to put my washi tape in alignment with one of the lines on the grid or like one of the dots at least so I can line it up on the other side so that I can kind of put my washi strip across the card pr 
pretty straight. And this washi tape, um, I noticed like it's a little older or maybe it's just cheap like Dollar Tree and it doesn't stick that great, but you have to really fiddle with it and stick it down. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I have a um, X-Acto knife. So I was trying to uh, cut it with a acrylic block and that just wasn't giving me clean cuts. It does give me pretty clean cuts when I'm cutting um, non glitter <laughs> washi tape. It does do pretty well there, but on this one, for whatever reason, didn't do good. So now I'm going to put my little square down here. I think that's nice, cute, and simple. Um, and then because I, I want to make sure that the washi tape doesn't like peel up or like, I just want to make sure that this stays stuck down on top of it, I'm using this ATG gun. The sticky on this is a lot uh, more heavy duty or something. I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's a lot stronger So um, than the dot adhesive. I wouldn't say it's it works better, but it is much stickier for um, like right up front. So I kind of want to just make sure that Whatever I'm sticking down on top of this is going to stay in place. So since I lined it up before, I'm going to do, since this is four and a quarter long, I'm going to just try and like move it so that it's like centered a little bit. So that basically um, the line in the middle is the center and that way I can align my, I can kind of eyeball this and say like that's kind of the middle and then I can kind of put it up here so that it's fully as closely to centered as I, my human fingers and brain and eyes can get it um, and that's good it looks good to me it I can tell it's not an exact square and I'm not gonna sweat that I'm just not gonna worry about it because nobody will really pay that close of attention to it okay so I've got this one, this one, two, and I could go in with glitter glue dots and put something here. In fact, since I did it on this one, I kind of want to do it here too. So let's do it. Um, let's do that one, two, three dot thing that I do. One, two, three. I'm going to do it here too. One, two, three. I'm trying to keep them all the same size, but it's hard with this. Sometimes the glue comes out faster than you can handle. So, okay, I've got one, two, um, three, four. And then the rest of these don't have any glitter glue on them. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's my ten cards for my one thousand card challenge. I think these are all dry. I I did this at the bottom and I I'm not sure I like it, but it's okay. It'll it'll pass muster. And then this washi tape is not actually washi tape. It's like a like a really thin duct tape. Um and you can like see your fingerprints on it and it looks kind of weird and greasy so I don't know if I like that <laughs> and it also doesn't look straight for some reason but I don't know I'm not gonna worry about it so that's my 10 cards um I, I'm really happy with the way that this one came out I was kind of struggling to figure out how I was gonna because like it felt like I couldn't just leave this congratulations flag um on there in that kind of neutral uh, color just like stop uh, stack it right up there and I didn't have quite the right yellow sharpie so I got this like kind of teal color sharpie I thought that kind of uh, complements the yellow pretty nicely and I just got a little scrap and colored it in and I figured like it doesn't have to be colored perfectly because even if it's not colored perfectly it could just look kind of like watercolory um it gives it some dimension. It's not that big a deal. And then it, most of the background is going to be covered up by the actual sentiment. And then I cut it out. I glued it on. I cut it out. And then I was like, how am I going to anchor it on this card? Like, it feels like it's it's just going to be there floating and weird. And then I was trying to, you know, 
use like some raffia and I was trying to use some of this um, baker's twine and nothing was really working and I pulled out some ribbon and I was like oh nothing is the exact right color and I'm like does it have to be the exact right color I don't think so so then I just went for it and then I used a glue dot to hold the um, the little ribbon in place after I knotted it. Um, sometimes knotting ribbon on your cards is a little fiddly, so I kind of wanted to demonstrate that um, on camera. But if you guys have questions about how I do that, I'm happy to do another card, another set of cards that is, you know, demonstrating the ribbon. Um, but I'm happy with these. They're all they're done. Ten cards done. Um, simple cards. They're, they still, but that, I think that sparkle washi adds a really nice little something to a simple card. And then, you know, the inside will be nice. Okay. So, um, I do think I'm going to go ahead and make, uh, just assemble a few more basic cards that don't have sentiments, but I'll speed those up. I mean, on second thought, I think I'm just going to make that into a separate video because I've already been at this for like an hour and with my talking at the beginning and my talking at the end and my sped up stuff, it's already gonna be like a 30 minute video, so I'm, I decided I'm just gonna lay these out so you can see them for the most part, see them. And then um, I'll make another video with those, the other card assembly. And these are all kind of the same. Those are cute looking. And here's the last four or three. I still feel like this needs something, but I don't know what. And then maybe this needs something too, but I don't know what there either. But maybe up here or up here and then down here. That's kind of how I tend to do things. That's it. So. I think for now I'm gonna stick with these the way they are and um, I'll make another video for the, with the other ones I'm still gonna be making more things today um, but I have some laundry I need to get done so I'll pause this or I'll stop this video for today and I hope you enjoyed me uh, watching me make these ten giving you some ideas these are just paper this inside paper is just cut out at five and a quarter by four and um, I just, I've been cutting out, you know, massive amounts of paper. Some of these ones actually, these blue and pink floral ones are from some really, really thin, like a really thin paper pack that I bought a long time ago. But the papers are themselves are cute and, or pretty, they are nice. So I've been just making tons of thank you cards out of these. Um, and then this is nice because it has some glitter or some like embossing and this one does as well it has some glitter embossing and these two are just kind of simple but colorful and happy so and these stamps just felt like the right fit for a rainbow colored card so anyway I'm happy with that I'm for the most part happy with how everything turned out nothing was like a disaster or you know um, ugly looking <laughs> so sometimes there is one of those in every batch it's like the first pancake always looking like crap sometimes that happens but it's okay um I do hang on to the cards that I make mistakes on and try to salvage them and, and either repurpose the cards or repurpose the materials or something or use it for scraps um or even just like cut it up so I can um I do I have a thing of paper, a big container of paper for holding all my scraps and cutoffs and things like that so that I can blend it together and make my own DIY paper to make cards out of. So I will probably show you that video someday. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you. Bye. Oh, my hand's all glittery. Haha. <laughs> Bye. Thanks.